serious? Right there. Dude. I just pulled out of the dirt. So Mike and I are on a little metal detecting adventure today. And uh, he says he has something up here. Let's go check it out. Hopefully it's a first good find of the day. Perfect. Oh, I love this. Hold on, <laughs> It's muddy and there's a lot of rocks. Oh, look at that design on there. Like a last name possibly here. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool looking actually. <laughs> Little gate, uh, yeah, house gate. It's laying here. Nice. Congratulations, Mike. I might Mike. carry it out of here. I might try to clean oh, it here's up. Here's the deal. If you want to carry it out, <laughs> yeah. I'll help you. But I'm going to carry your metal detector. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, I'm an old this. man with a bad back, so. Look at that. That's a beauty. It's broke, but I might keep that too. Yeah, that's I pretty keep cool, actually. <laughs> I like that. I was telling them, like the New Orleans symbol, but what is that called? Fleur de Lis. Okay. I couldn't remember what it was called. Thank you for that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, beautiful yes, piece. Yes, French is a yeah. old, old ancient French symbol. You see that a lot in New Orleans because of the French. French. Yeah, that's yeah. a most well, they, awesome. Well, they were at. Yeah. We just came up on a bank and it looks like some more iron work for Mike's little. Ooh, that's a big old speed. Look at that. Ooh, that's a big old giant speed. Looks like it's probably hand forged too. Let me set that there. Oh, that's all broken up. It's more your gate or fence. Another piece underneath is probably someone threw the trash over the hill, pieces of that. So I'll let Mike know he doesn't seem too interested though. <laughs> I don't blame him. There's some river treasure. Oh, Shakespeare. Mm, we might snag that one. Think we should? Let me know. I'm gonna put it in my bag. So Mike's down there digging and he was just doing a video so hopefully he's finding some stuff. I'm up in here. We're getting a little bit of bedrock along this side so I'm going to start protecting. I haven't been real happy so far because it's been really silty. Let's look at this bottle. That's probably a modern beer bottle I guess. I don't know what kind of thing it is but uh, probably a beer bottle. So it kind of reminds me of a Michelob bottle. That thing right there, but I'm not sure that's what it is. <sighs> Mike's already screwed it by me because I've been working on a signal here. It's really deep. And I've already worn a hole in my finger, so I'm not going to dig on it anymore. It's in this gravelly stuff. I think it's a big sheet of something, copper or something, but I can't get it, so I'm going to let it go. But I did want to show you this. Found that little bottle. It was in the hole as I was digging it. That's a little medicine bottle. You can see it's got the uh, marks on it for the ounces and whatnot so we'll save that there might be some more bottles i dug up too i don't know but i'm giving up on that because of that finger and that's this is the only glove i brought today so unfortunately <laughs> have to get out of the gravel well here's my first little at least ident unidentified object it's a piece of copper sheeting of some sort it's been folded over i have no idea what it was uh, in, a, in its an original form before it was messed up at least we found a non-fair target to put in the bag and think about later or not Oh, that's a beauty. Nice old insulator. It's got one little uh, chippy there oh, on the side. Too bad. Made by a company called Hemingway, which is probably the most common one you see, the Hemingways. They're pretty cool, though. Yeah. Could be, uh, well, it's railroad, we know here, but it's also for the telephone lines. They would use them, too. So, cool. Yep. Probably that date to like 40s, 50s, or 30s. 30s, 30s and 40s. Okay. Yeah, even the 20s, possibly, but I think it's more like 30s or 40s. Yeah. The blue ones are usually older, right? Yes, they're probably 1890 to 1910. Sweet. You know, so. Yeah. Well, at least you're finding a few things. It probably was a blue one at one time, but when they started replacing them, they started using these, and then they go to plastic even later on, as you know. Yeah, we found some of those. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> well, maybe we'll find some old blue ones up here. Yeah. Yep. All right, I'm going to go back to digging. My it. fingers are freaking raw, though. Yeah. Give me the bottle there, Coke bottle. Green. Did you find a bottle? <laughs> Coca-Cola. That's chipped. It's, uh, I'm not sure what town that is. Seems like most everything we've... That's Wilmington, Delaware. You want it, Mike? It's got a little chip in it, though. I'm good, thank We'll leave it here for someone else. Looks like someone left it for us. <laughs> most people don't collect anything that's cracked or chipped. So here's kind of a neat freshwater find. We're on this little stream. It's actually cold water street. That is a freshwater sponge right there. I have wow. seen them on like the Potomac and Shenandoah when I'm diving, but wow. that's a nice little colony right there. It's actually a sponge. Let's go in there and take a look at it. Beautiful. What do you say?
Pretty neat, huh? I think so. I think Mike does too. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Well, not having really good luck yet, but we still got a ways to go. The creek kind of gets wider here, and the bottoms are looking a little bit better, a little bit more clay. I bowled a little, I guess that's a, I guess that's a little bracelet, kid's bracelet, and maybe a little bait pen. I guess that's what that is. Those uh, pens, these little bait things sound really good because of the battery in it. They just scream like a nice silver coin. But only in my dreams. That we're not done yet today, don't worry. Now this is a strange phenomena. Just looking up the creek here, it's not very deep, but look at this. Someone dug a big hole out here in the middle of the creek. You can see these uh, big, oh, God, that's nasty, soft. But yeah, they dug a big hole, looks like they lined it with, a, with an old uh, rug or something. Maybe they used it for a swimming hole. That's a nasty looking place though, isn't it? Ooh wee. Let's get the heck out of Oh, another hole right here. That's a lot of work channel goes over here to another hole. Look at this green, three holes. That one's pretty deep too. Look at some metal kicked up on the bank. I wonder if a digger is in there maybe finding gold coins. I think we should run the machine in there. I think we should. I'll go ahead and run it over see if this is like loaded with gold or silver coins. It's really weird to have a set of three holes going across there like that. Something's very bizarre. Uh, came across, I tried to metal tech in the hole. I actually like sunk down another two feet in the mud so those holes go way down all right so this was a target that was there it's a great big old iron bolt may have may not have anything to do with with what they were doing here and a little piece of uh little piece of pottery i don't think that's what they were digging i want to show you this stuff because this is really disgusting <laughs> maybe they're digging this maybe that's something it looks like marl but maybe it makes a it might that's what yeah so i'm trying to think it looks like marl but that might be that might be what that's probably what they're doing they're digging something for pottery i bet dude look at that it's like natural clay yeah that's what that's what they're doing we that's figured it we figured awesome, it out awesome man yeah. they're making clay out they're yeah. getting the mud out of here they got it's carpet in here very uh silty right there you can feel it with my fingers very very so i mean just very smooth you know yeah there's a horseshoe laying that's up pretty cool right there man well mystery solved it wasn't gold coins it was minerals so we moved upstream about uh, 50 yards from those little pits and I got to thinking about it. I think that might be kaolin, uh, which is a type of clay. And that's what they make those old timey uh, clay pipes out of the white ones that you find. I'm pretty sure that's what that's what that is. I'll look it up and if it's not, I'll let you know that I made a mistake, but that could be right. I got a little signal here. I'm gonna go ahead and dig that. It's kind of a squeak. A little bit of thin copper wire. Sounded really good. Hmm. Hey, Mike, you collecting these? <laughs> I found it on the bottom of the river. I don't know what's going it's on like there. A, a half naked woman. <laughs> nice, Mike. You want it back? No, I'm good. <laughs> Mike's like, no, no, no. Once I get home, <laughs> that's what, you never know what you're going to find out here. So, Mike just saw this going by. That's kind of weird. It says, Our Sun, and that's marble. Uh, but that's concrete and stuff around this. It's not terribly old. So I wonder if they pilfered that from the nearby graveyard. Kind of what it looks like. Well, remember I showed you the one uptown too behind the one spot. Remember the, the yeah, headstone? It was a, uh, headstone that was like a sidewalk or something? Yeah, well, just, Isn't that bizarre? Happens. This is kind of neat. This is a big uh, tree stump that goes across here. So there's probably a big tree standing here some years ago. And of course now it's dead and the stump's just left. So that means the creek has meandered over this way a, a little bit. Big piece of iron thrown up. Got a big piece of iron here on the end of my pick. So I'll go ahead and look at it together. There's uh, actually quite a few pieces right along from here. I can't pick it up with a pick, it's too big, but yeah, if it's like a piece of pipe. Here's an artillery shell. Yep. Ooh, copper in there. So I'm scrambling over there looking for my pick that I lost in the muck. And Mike's just like, oh, dude. <gasps> no. Are you serious? Right there. Dude. I just pulled out of the dirt. Look at that thing. Yeah, that looks like a... It's a small one, but it's... <laughs> yeah, it must be... Um... <laughs> it's a matter if I take a peek, I won't Go touch ahead, it. Go ahead, buddy. Oh, 
pull it up, check it together, everybody. Water's awful clouded up to do under now. It's an artillery shell. I think it's gonna be like World War One or something, maybe. What are you thinking? Yeah, that's an artillery shell. Fuse, uh, we had a, a base fuse that's gone, so it's perfectly safe. You can wow. see the driving band right there. So it's like World War One or two, or could even be Vietnam for that matter. I mean, you have to clean it up. Crazy. Just driving band, the copper, you might yeah, have might writing have on it. Yep, yep. If it does have writing, I have books that I can look it up. All right, cool. That's the guiding. <laughs> it's awesome, man. That was like your wear band. When yeah, it so it through the barrel. Grab the rifling and make it spin. And make it spin. All right. Dude, at first I looked at the back, I thought, just a pipe. And then I'm like, no, dude, it's got a point to it. It's got to be an artillery shell. <laughs> Freaking awesome. Here we go. Now, the reason I'm having so much trouble with my fingers on my gloves today is because of these rocks. This is actually like slag from a uh, coal-fired furnace. And this whole creek is just loaded with it. So when you're digging with your fingers, that's kind of sharp. It's like almost like volcanically sharp, you know, and it just tears your gloves up wasn't expecting that today but and some of it gives a pretty good signal too and it's just all up through here check us out delicious blueberries I don't know what those things are probably highly toxic so if you see these don't eat them but I don't know what they are for sure pretty though definitely not elderberries it's not in the area where there's a lot of bedrock and just found this which I Think, I'm not sure what kind of metal that is. It's almost like it's pewter, but it's, I'm not sure. Probably not pewter, probably some type of white metal, I guess. Hmm. Is it human? Huh. What is it? Oh, that's a pretty bone. Don't think it's human, but look how flat it is on that one side. It's odd, isn't it? And a nice dark patina from being in the water for a long time. Most awesome. I'm going to put it back there if you don't mind. Eh, you know what? I'm going to keep that because it's kind of neat looking. <laughs> I don't know why I'm keeping it, but I'm going to. <laughs> so Mike says he has one of my usuals. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I worked my way upstream. So what you got? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a yellow padlock. Yeah. A little brass oh, uh, Yeah, I have found a ton you, of those lately. found a lot of them lately. Yep. Yep. Congratulations, man. I thought that was man. just weird because I remember you, you dug like five or six the other day. I remember yeah. more than that. Pretty That's cool. Good signal. Yep, yep. All right. Keep going. So we're still working our way upstream and we just came past an old, looks like municipal power plant probably that is no longer in operation. See right there, you can see where that's where the water comes out. There's a dam that went across right here. You can see part of the wall. I happen to glance over here in the bushes and there's some old cars. Let's go look at them. Yeah, I'm not gonna go in them, but yeah, a couple old cars. It's somebody's business right there. It might be a junkyard or something. I see more vehicles up there, so I'm not gonna go up in it because I don't wanna get shot. All right, we're still looking, not finding. At least I'm not, but Mike's got a couple of neat little finds, but we're gonna keep working our way up that direction. Just found this neat old, big old brass, brass disc. I'll definitely see that one. Woo-wee. Yeah, so we're up here and it's getting kind of deep. So I don't know if we're going to be able to go around here or not. Maybe we can sneak along the bank, but yeah. I have my doubts. Mike was just pointing out, you know, going along the bank here and stirring up the silt. And if you look out there, it's like sinking down, just creeping along the bottom of the creek. <laughs> Isn't that weird? weird? <laughs> I think it's weird. It is. So it's about an hour since I last talked to you and we're still working our way upstream, not finding a whole lot. Mostly just big old fishing weights like this. Uh, I've got four or five of these and that's about it really. Not sure what happened to Mike. I move along a lot faster than he does. But uh, he's behind us somewhere. Still not getting much, but I did get this little copper band. I have no idea how old it is though, but I don't know. Could go to something. <laughs> yeah i think that gave off a really nice signal it's a heavy brass but uh, you know i'm not thinking it's more than a hundred years old i'm not sure where it goes to either so it's been pretty slow digging um for a while i did get two targets i want to show you this is the most interesting unfortunately it's a little screw lid but it looks like it could be pretty old and then i also dug a penny 
or a, a memorial scent, but it's a pretty sure that's just a uh, zinc penny. So not too old. But at least we got a coin today. I got a gun. Most awesome. Possum. Yeah, that's a uh, fake gun. Well, it's not a fake gun, but it's a toy gun. Here, here you go. <laughs> Looks almost real. If I hold it up a certain way, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's a little sun. I think it might be a little swimming hole right here. Um, you know, I found that uh, scent, that little uh, penny right there. So it looks like a trail goes up to the bushes. Oh, uh, maybe kids come down here and play. And maybe they did 200 years ago and lost a bunch of gold coins. Let's hope. Well, I'm headed down river uh, to catch up with Mike. I think I'm about done with this spot. Actually, finding stuff like this, like cut copper plates and stuff i don't know if that went on to some buildings that are up uh, close by or whatever don't have any idea what that's for but it's pretty green color but nothing really good i've been finding these coke bottles i've got a couple of them i went ahead and grabbed them not as pretty as those older ones it's not quite the same blue it's not that really bright sparkling blue <laughs> we'll save them <laughs> no pocket knife mike yeah, I was just coming along here where I found the lipstick, the old lipstick tube, and uh, got an old buck oh, knife. Nice. He'll replace that for free. He still do. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. The old Absolutely. buck knife. As far as I know. If I it's mean, a buck knife, I think it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a buck. Dude. If it is, they'll replace it for free. Yeah, I'll send that <laughs> in. <laughs> nice. I'll of course, it makes it. a nice relic, too. Yeah, no, I'll you take it. it on eBay it's, it's with your name a, on it. It's got a, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, it's got a nice wood finish, so right. it's, it's probably. You could probably fix it. Vintage, maybe. <laughs> Uh, no. Yeah, I would I'd say, say 80s, 90s. I, I can't that. imagine that's been in the water more than 10 years. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's probably late 90, 90s, maybe 2000. <laughs> 10 years, yeah. 90s. Mike, you're old. getting old, dude. I know. I know. You're old. 90s, 90s would be like 30 years ago. Dude. I know, man. <laughs> I know. I'm feeling oh, 10 old, years ago. I know. <laughs> I do that all the time though. Okay guys, so we are officially heading back now and uh, I think I'm pretty much done digging. So we got a little bit we could dig, but I think we're going to take off. Mike's still going at it. Man, we didn't find much today, but we did see some interesting things, some wildlife and different things on the river. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the adventure. I know I did. It was always great to hang out with Mike at Great Finds and I'll put a link to his YouTube channel somewhere, uh, probably in the video. Not the description but you know pin comment and uh, go ahead you know, head over his channel you can check out this hunt from a different set of eyes <laughs> oh did you yeah. well i guess we're going to be digging for a while we'll get back with you so i dug this uh weird fishing weight i'm like oh my god it's <laughs> it's a uh whitworth yeah it kind of looks like a whitworth that's what i thought but you know i guess it's a fishing weight look at whitworths aren't uh <laughs> too big i mean that's pretty big Dude, I don't know what that is. It's too thick for a wet wart. They're yeah, a lot smaller similar. caliber. I don't really see where there's like a that's a weird any type of piece. place to attach a fishing line to it. So, hmm. well, maybe it's a giant Whitworth, one of a kind. <laughs> <laughs> I just dug a little homemade sinker. Probably it's a piece of flat lead that's been folded over a bunch of time. That's probably what it is, but we won't know 100%. Groovy. <laughs> It's a uh, peace symbol that uh, has a hole in it so you wear around your neck. This is probably a little fishing, uh, fishing and swimming hole right down in here. That's pretty cool. I like that. The Ewans. This is kind of an odd piece. It's uh, copper. It's got a lot of writing on the back, but it's glass in the front. So I don't know if that's piece of jewelry or maybe that was a little mirror probably a mirror we're almost done <laughs> honestly <laughs> we're almost done all right we're officially shutting the machines down <laughs> Mike said, let's, we're ready to get out of here I'll keep going. yeah i know that's where i am i got one more target in my hand i don't know what it is i thought we'd look together <laughs> oh no i think it's a little piece of copper oh it's a fishing lure <laughs> great Oh, there's a piece of copper. Yep, that's what it was. It's a little fishing lure. That's got a spinner blade on it. The hooks are rotted away. 
And that's our final find for the day. Hope you enjoyed it. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets She's promised to keep Hidden in her dirt Or deep in her creek Mother Earth, she ain't saying Exactly what she's saving 